Well, what? I, I fell into a pit. Don't die. That'd be unfortunate. Okay. I have I have the poop gun. All I have to do is shoot straight up and shower everything around me in a fine coating. Even Piss. this game was me and you. Until You're playing deep cook. Yeah. What's that shizzle? How to drink my own piss. And so he was never heard from again. Can't talk right now. I'm making piss. I'll show you piss. How about them apples? I need to remember how what how the, what the controls are. The controls are like only two oh, this buttons. Is the cool, this is the cool fighting rhythm game thing. Mm -hmm. I'm garbage at it, but it is fun to play. Might as well showcase it. Also, this music is catchy. It's like... This is the sort of stuff I would have listened to back in college. Or even earlier than that, really. I used to really be really into alt rock. Still am. That moment when your host lag is so bad you can't use the EPC. The what? My God, I literally can't use it. Um, the 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 mining thing on Driller Secondary that lets you uh, that lets you go pume. Uh, I can't use it because whenever I do the charge attack, the game freezes and I can't I can't shoot the second projectile to make it explode. So what does the host have anything to do with it? Uh, the connection's so bad. So when I when I do the thing, it causes a bunch of particles and stutters, and then I can't. Fuck, oh, that's fuck. so bad. Thanks, NG, for making it harder. Uh, Sorry. No, you know, and you know, NG. Oh, there we go. oh my God, NG. Other NG. Literally trying to kill me. Maybe that was their intent all along. Have you thought about that? There we go. I got it through the lag. There we go. Only took like 500 fucking mags. Oh, fuck my life. It's fine, I don't use this damn thing for anything. Let's try anymore. it again. Probably switch to Flying Nightmare. I usually suck at rhythm games, but I don't know. I don't get too stressed out playing this one for some reason. Are you on Twitch? Mm -hmm. Oh no, does that mean everyone can hear us on the stream? Oh no! Oh no! Hello, mom, I'm on TV! Again. Yeah. So yeah, I'll say I can join you. Uh, some deep rock if you have a free slot. Uh, I'm in a pub game, but I, I'll be out soon. I did like <laughs> I did a deep dive and the elite deep dive solo by using this new plasma carbine, and uh, it sucks. It sucks. Um, yeah, it's kind of like. Do you have? Do you have Opa? Do you have the Opa? Opa what? The Opa, the Overtune particle accelerator. No, I, don't I, I, I hated it until I got that, and now it's. Yeah. It makes one overclock that's linked to your shields. It's that one, one, yeah, I don't. I think that one's bugged and also shit. So mm -hmm. I know, I know. There's a uh, there's one for Gunner that like just doesn't work. Like it, it doesn't do damage. It, it, it does nothing. Well, two more from me so far, but the gun itself is kind of meh. I'll rather pick uh, the two other guns over it as primary. Like, I still can kill stuff, yeah, but it's, it's kind of... Yeah, if you want really high... Ooh, I'm flying in here. 
If you want really high killing potential, you're gonna want Opa. It gives you like 30 extra damage, it's like insane. Oh, okay. Holy crap, that was bad. I need to farm more. More overclocks. Yeah, what, what I did is I, w I was uh, farming solo. I don't know. You would get overclocks. Because I knew I that like the weapons would bug. And stuff. So I have to do deep dives to get more. Oh, yeah. Shit. That's why Did I saved up a bunch of blanks. Did the normal one and the elite one. How bad was the elite? Uh, pretty bad, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I want to do it, but I don't. Like, the first stage was easy peasy. The second stage was a lot more difficult because the... Uh, how it's called? Menace kept spawning and just shooting on the drill dozer from all sides. Yeah. Nice army, you gotta beat up the. Beat but the third music. one was more or less easier than the second one, but still harder than the first one. It was all big room, big open cave that had eggs in it. So there was nowhere to go. It all, it all was in a single big room. But it has a level enemies modifier, so they kill you in two hits anyway. Yeah, you have to be extra careful for that one, and it also spawns a detonator at the end. Nice. The normal deep dive had a... There's a, there's a bunch of level... There's a bunch of level. Yeah, the quarter uh, was the first stage. The nice. normal deep dive. Yeah, the, the first deep dive wasn't too bad, but like my team was really bad. They were all, they were all green beards. Uh, I, I'm in a game with green birds now, and I uh, I just I'm showering them in poo, and it's just ah. funny. I don't know what's going on. I, we, I was trying uh, to test this new gun even more to see if um, I can find some way to make it work. And so I went to do some deep dives, and normal deep dive was done fairly easily. I never ever got down. Where is Gunner? I remember. But the lead deep dive I got down seven times. I was on the second or third stage. Oh yeah, I forgot Bosco uh wrong with this gun. Yeah, Bosco's revives were set for first stage. Yes, he has good gun. I tested it out like uh, the first time I tried the lead deep dive. It's a fail, of course. I failed it. No. I can do them fairly easily now that I know what I'm in for. Even with this shitty gun is this plasma carbine. I did like 600 kills. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, I like the plasma carbine, but it's definitely weird. Well, it's enjoyable to shoot with, like, Yeah, it goes yeah. And I got, I got, yeah, I got the first beard. I got the first beard that isn't a beard and it looks really bad. The net guard, which I feel like I could use in real life. But yeah, it feels kind of hard when mm, the uh, secondary weapons deal more damage than the primary weapon. Duh. I need more cum mods. I actually survived that time. Good job. And yeah, I still said the right even on the lead tip dive. As you should. I got a D. Welcome to my life. Here's the screenshot. It's all... Uh, it's much harder to do on, when you're playing solo. Since you have to both uh, shoot the box that uh, surrounds you. And uh, yeah. you carry the door right to the exit. I really want the Born to Drill hat. Yeah, me too. 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 Me
Yeah. That reminds me. Uh, Dyer, you played uh, Rising Storm 2 with me, right? Before I before I got mad about the hit rate. Yeah. Oh, bitch. I like that game. <laughs> you were the best teammate I, I I ever had in that game. Need you to, I need you to appreciate yourself because it was like Dyer, there's some fucking asshole over there, and I ping him, and then you just immediately feed him, <laughs> and then I can move up and shred the entire enemy team. That was so good. It's done. I see. It was, it was very good. Yeah, it's a problem, you know. I remember, like, Dyer, I need it's fire support, and you just threw a grenade and killed, like, half the enemy team. You mean Dyer does that sometimes, too? What? Accidentally TKing the, your entire team? No, no, like, Dyer killed half of the enemy team with, like, one grenade. Oh. But by just yeeting it all the way into a fucking house, like, across the back. What game grenade. was that? It was Rising Storm TV, I know. <sighs> Good Remember game. the time we were playing Left 4 Dead and I accidentally set Dyer on fire with a Molotov? That, that was funny, yeah. Back 4 Blood is good, but like my problem with it is that like the server sucks shit right now. So like I want to play it, but like I like the uh, I'm doing the uh, the hardest difficulty grind for the skins, but like I don't want to because there's um there's a certain map that because it's really intensive to run on the servers because they're 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 dedicated servers, not local host. Is that the map that's covered in fire runs really shit, and because it runs really shit, it's like impossible to play on. Um, yeah. So like I'll be so, you know like you know I'll be running right, and then the game the game will stutter, and then I'll be teleported thirty feet back into into fire, so I'm burning. I'll, I'll be hit with a meatball. Uh, I'll, I will explode. I will explode, levels. and then I will die. For some reason. Yeah, so, uh, like, I like hand show down, but some servers it uh, has some notorious issues with the service. Yeah. I don't know why. Maybe that's the provider they choose, but I, it's probably the game I seen the most people complain about this uh, server quality. Not for only on games I ever played. There we go, finally. I personally did not encounter a lot of issues with servers. Oh shit! Like I had a bunch of them. Why did I try it doing that? <laughs> Fuck me. But they happened quite rarely, and uh, let's try and actually do hard mode first before trying. Most to of the do time, game was still pretty playable. But yeah, Rising Storm is. Uh, yeah, I actually enjoyed that game for a few time I got to play it. And uh, I don't actually own the game, I play it through my brothers. Uh, yeah, I'm Dyra, I'm I'm gonna only. buy Yeah. Huh? I'm gonna buy you 83 when it comes out, because I think we'll both like that. Yeah. That's some new shooter you've been Yeah, it's it's by the people who oh. made Rising Storm 2 good. But okay. uh, but yeah, I think I got easily adjust to the Rising Storm gameplay because I played uh, some Red Orchestra 2 some years ago for a bit. Uh, was the best soldier in the Russian army. To that. Okay, this has to get all the way. But yeah, Dyra, I'm I'm streaming myself using the drag.
<laughs> On est un peu dessus. Tu vas te faire aussi, je suis fait. Ouh. Well, um, did you remove most of your food? Ah, here it is. Is it all just stream or did you uh, remove your... What? Parts of your hood. The hood? Oh yeah, this is the uh, the rival tech skin, it's my favorite. No, I mean the parts of the hood are kind of... Sorry, I'm, I'm fucking tired, what? Uh, hood of your heads up display, no? Oh yeah, I, uh, yeah, I changed it to minimal. That's nice. Uh, I like it. Mm. I see. So stuff only pops up when it's needed. Important, yeah. I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, what I also like about Han Shodan that its hood is also minimal by default. Yeah, I like I like minimal UI. But I like I like being able to just press control and then everything I need pops up. But then fades. I, I wish I could change the fade to be quicker, but you can't have everything. I see. That was some massive gen genocide of the loot box. Yeah, sadly the loot bugs must die. I need I need okay, I need that XP for bugs. the battle pass. I do, and I will go I will go to dwarf hell for it, but I need I need the I need the XP from killing them to get the uh the, you know the end poses? Uh, I don't uh, know what those are. Okay, so like at the end of a mission you'll do like a pose. Oh at, yeah, like, at, the, at the uh, end of a pose. Yeah those the things. Yeah. yeah. That's a fucking bitch. The min they give they give mineral XP and creature killed. Yeah, this is this is Opa. 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 Oh. I should probably be lighting up the cave. <laughs> I'm like, wait, I'm scout. I don't have I don't have special powder. Bomb it on me. I put on my scout. Holy shit, I'm terrible. Okay. It's farther out. God damn it. Let's do the warm up song instead. And then I'll try doing this again. How are you not dead? Die. You should be setting up straight. Bye! 73.75% on fucking what? tutorial mode. I grabbed the zip line! That's terrible. What's my fucking ping? 100, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> like, wait. That was strange. In Hanshul Dao today while I was doing one of the two remaining achievements to get, I loaded into the game with no guns. Nice. So I... Is, it, is that the achievement or was it like, it was it bugged? No, no, I had to put myself on fire, get poisoned and bleed at the same time. It's the trinity to have pain and the hidden achievements of the game. So I did it and uh, like won the last one that I should to get. Oh, so, so you were just doing it on like shit characters, so you didn't lose anything? Yes, uh, so I lost with no gun, so I did it, uh, run a few meters away from spawn, see a guy running at me. He shot a few times so that I had no guns. I don't and, then he was like, and, then, and, and then he was like, what no, the I no guns, and he just... Um, pa run past me. <laughs> He's just like, okay. <laughs> okay. I think, like, he was uh, first shot uh, shooting at me, trying to kill me, but I uh, saw that I only have my feet out, and, and then proceeded to shoot grass around him that way. 
Oh my he, god. He was, he, he was trying to clap to him and say, the, hey, I will have no guns. And he just. He just left. Like Boston. Yeah. That's cool. That's that's pretty friendly. You should be sitting up straight, yeah. but without stiff, and should feel comfortable. Don't ever let yourself. Ah, I did not uh, capture that now, one, but here's one of the screenshots. How's the DRG community these days? Uh, it got really bad with the last big update, but it's actually a lot better now. What do you mean, got really bad with the last big well, update? Okay, it was so popular for being nice that people who aren't nice went, okay, I'll play it, and then they were assholes. Now, there is such a large portion of people that are truly nice that they outnumber those people. Uh, so like, there's a lot of there's a lot of green beards and they're stupid, but I'd rather stupid players than assholes. Well, yeah, I mean, stupid players can get better over time, but assholes will always be assholes. Exactly. But isn't that how the game was to begin with? It was, but the um, the update before this one, the uh, the big one. What was the big update that made everyone want to play Deep Rock if they hadn't heard of it before? I don't know. I know a lot of people bought it because of the Battle Pass, which makes me sad because the Battle Pass is like free, and like you don't miss anything out. I saw a Battle Pass thing and thought that was kind of dumb, but then again, I remember that. It's just, it's just a way they're doing the progression because well, the base game, the base hate... game is really limited Fuck. and unfair to new players. I personally hate Battle Passes. Same. I, I don't mind this one because like it's essentially just play the game. Well, at least free. this one free, so that's not how bad. Because, uh, but I most don't... notorious ones. Really get it. Uh, the whole point of battle passes, I thought, was to generate revenue. I thought that was kind of like why they were. Well, yeah, this one is mostly a way to to have more progression to lock doors. Oh, yeah. It's 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 progression. Yes, once you unlock everything in this game, you don't really have anything to. Work That's not really so. a battle pass, then, is it? It's more like. Uh, well, it's more of it's a it's a unique XP based reward track. So it's an RPG. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Why okay, the fuck did they call it a battle pass? Well, because it doesn't really work like a battle pass. You have levels that you uh, gain from earning experience on your missions, and you unlock more stuff. Yeah, it's it puts it puts old veterans and and new players on equal ground with unlocking new stuff. And anything you don't unlock goes towards the crates. So, oh, so say cool. someone, yeah, yeah, I, because the, the the crates have really limited content. Uh, so I really enjoy that um, uh, that like someone joins really late, right? They now have more content to unlock because they didn't they didn't play the season. So it's actually better to miss miss out on stuff because you have like you know you find crates and you'll find you'll find stuff way longer than anyone else does. The the downside, of course, is that there's. Um, there's more shit for you to unlock, and so if you want something specific, you won't be able to get it as easily. But it like the like people joining later get more and more and more and more stuff to like discover and explore through the loot, and I think that's cool. Sounds cool. But yeah, Dyer, this is Opa. This is on. This is on Hazard Three. Uh... Oh, wow, that's sun, though. But yeah, I personally uh, hate Battle Pass because they... Uh, the free games to pay games and you still have to buy them and then you have to work towards the content that you paid for. Basically, folding you... It, your it's just time a way to... Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just a way to that. get people to keep playing. Yeah, that, yeah, you that, pay that. for stuff, and yet you have to work for it. So that's well, see, like, like that, and see, that's why that's the only. <laughs> I just I hate the fact that player can hide with their battle passes. That's yeah, Halos are nice. They uh, force you to play to get the stuff you paid for. That always yeah, sucks. It sucks. You, well, it's it's you're paying you're paying for access, and then because the devs the, the devs are shit, they're 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 forcing you to pay 
Uh, and then they make you uh, raise their player engagement numbers by grinding. So corporate buddy. needs to corporate needs to raise player engagement numbers. It, it makes uh, yeah it it, it, it makes, makes business it, sense, but it's shitty yeah. to players. Yes, yes, it's 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 in one thing. Uh, it's, it's player number five because people play the game to grind out the stuff they paid for. Basically, the reason like they they're not destiny. having fun, and then and then because yeah. they've been forced to do that, a lot of times they'll just immediately stop. Well, and so your money is wasted because you did not get. Yeah, that's why whenever a battle pass doesn't offer like a way to get the stuff you actually paid for, is like immediately horrible. So I grind out hundred levels in the hundred hours of content. That you have to pay for first. So you pay to keep playing. You know, I was thinking. Pay with your money and pay with your time. Then is Deep Rock ever going to have like an actual story, or is it just mind yes, the planet because called... that's your job, sort of thing? That that's basically the story. Yes, yes. You the game's name. It is the company Deep Rock Galaxy. That the the worst work for. They found especially rich but very dangerous planet called Fox's core. It constantly has uh, tectonic shifts that ra uh, randomize the caves each time, but new resources keep on up on, on the surface. But then it also provided by the, the bugs. number of carnivorous bugs. Bugs. That like, no matter how much you kill them, they still, uh, they there's still a lot of them. For example, what if you actually had to compete with the elves to mine a part of the planet? That's 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 no, the new update. That, that's the new, new update. update. Yes, that's the new update. Are you mm -hmm. shitting me? The season one. The, yes. The new, uh, the new update. No is elves, that... but robots instead. The new rival company arrived on the Hoxus Four to the also mine those rich resources. That would yeah, have been yeah. a great time and to it... introduce the elves that they actually mention in game. <laughs> well, elves are mostly just a joke, but it, it's oh. an it's an in, it's an in joke, but it's also it's mentioned in some of the like secret dossiers you get later. No, well, not you know, it's not. It's just they talk from about what the that. devs say on Discord. They, they it's 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 very very strongly hinted at that the elves are controlling the robots. So. They found it easier to just send, make robot models instead of sending actual elves to. Yep. I guess I yep. can't fault them for taking the route that's well, they're, the well, most they're speed, but, like that's yeah. They're but cowards. still, um, yeah. But yeah, there is no whole new faction and the new mission type, industrial sabotage, where your job is to. Uh, undermine the efforts of the new comp rival company that arrived on the planet to dig stuff. There's no those, uh, and sometimes those uh, prospector mobs that drop those data cubes you can collect for the battle pass. Yeah, the robots, the robot right. prospector is really cute. And some, you, and some you also can hack. I don't know how to initiate the hack, but I managed to do it like two times accidentally. Isn't hacking in that game just going up to a uh, button and pushing the hack button or something? Uh, that's the that's the that's hack the mini hack. game that it's yeah. uh, to press the button in time. Yeah, if you kill if you kill some of the. Uh... Yeah, sorry. If you kill some of the uh, the mobs, the robot mobs, they'll they'll be pacified instead of exploding, and then you can hack them so they fight for you. I see. But the hack the hack uh, event, you do just press the button and then defend it, because you're you, because in that in that encounter you're not doing the hacking. The robot you sent in is yeah, the hack you're just defending him. Hacksy, yeah, they're cute. Yes, the hack also has a GB lighting in its vents in the back. For pro hacking skills. Pro yeah, hacks. But the new... yeah, I'm really sad. Why are you sad this time? 
because I, I burnt like 500 minerals and I remember and I just figured out okay so I'm I'm gold two promotion right okay it's like a thousand minerals for me to fucking upgrade now <laughs> it's very expensive sure sounds cool. expensive <sighs> but because and because I spent all of my money on the fucking new overclocks I can't I can't prestige and it's like fuck. fail. Yeah, the new random also um, prospected the two bases, those monoliths. You can also initiate a hacking sequence where you have to protect the Haxi drone doing its uh, hacking stuff from the bugs and drones. You must protect the cute, the cute nerd robot. Protect the cube. Protect the cube. But to yeah, your, 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 goal, it, your goal is to steal the cube. The new mission type is you're actually stealing four cubes. Yes, the new mission type is this industrial sabotage where you fight the boss. I got the new beard! I got the new beard! I'll show you a beard, how about them apples? Beard! Is it good? Ooh. Ooh, that's really fluffy though. That's really fluffy. Yes! No. What's fluffy? It looks like some angry drunk Russian. Is it that too shit? Yes! Yes, this is perfect. Злой русский гном, Макс. Ваня? Да. Ну вот сдашь с татухой. ВДВ? Да. Мальчики с татухой. Мушаночки. Там что еще байка была полосатая. Да, ну не знаю, есть ли такая вот идея. Вот и нет. It's been forever since I played this game and I already forgot the controls. Yeah. And by forever I mean a couple months. Is it a stealth game? Well, this is a stealth mission. They put it in as, like, part of the, you, as part of the Halloween update. Are you like a big fucking robot? I'm actually a tiny fucking robot right now. I mean, you're still you're still bigger than like a house. No, look at me. I'm about this slightly bigger. Oh yeah, that's... Game Wait, code scope. Elsie, have you never played Brigador? No. Uh, yeah, Brigador. I've really? Never even, I've never even seen it. I never oh. played it either. Brigador is uh, great. But I hear a lot of good things about it. And you want to see something cool? Up. It's called Run for My Life, as I'm outnumbered and outgunned by mechs that are much bigger than me after I destroy this orbital bombardment cannon. Or orbital cannon. Alright, uh, we'll fucking run! run. Oh my god! Also, I hear that they had a crew to squad coming. They do. I can show that to you after I die, which is right now. <laughs> cool. Actually, it's in one the of grave. the missions. The grave to the rave. Let's see now. Where is that? I saw it here. Uh, hmm. But yeah, it's a very blatant cruelty squad uh, reference. And you'll see what oh. I mean once I figure out which one of these missions it I was. I thought it was not just a reference, but a collaboration. Of course it was. I mean, it's literally yeah. an entire mission in character, so... Also, both games were reviewed by Seth Zentouch, right? The Seth. Seth is back? Hmm? No, uh, I think um, I was mentioned that in both Wave games, both Cruise Squad and Brigador got uh, reviewed by Seth. They did? I think. Hmm, I'll have to check that out, I didn't know that. Hey Nori! Hi Eve! Hi, hi! How are I you today? How are you doing? Uh, just doing video chat and chill on Twitch. I was playing. I was playing a uh, an indie game. I was playing. I know. I'm wrong. It was Mandalor gaming. But now I. It was Mandalor gaming. I brought up Brigador instead. But there was a, a tank. cameo in that. In that video. What are you up to? Um, I am not doing much. I. Just but when yes, you uh, get a cup of coffee. It was actually Bandalore Gaming that made a review on the Brigador. You I got a what coffee? Sorry. Just got a coffee. Oh, okay. Yeah. French person. 
But there was a self cameo in the Mandalore. Brunch. In the real Brigador. Where is that cruelty squad? <sighs> Right, I'm gonna it was one myself. of these no, missions, no. like, it was called Meanwhile, and you could, maybe I'm looking in the wrong place, was it an, ac it's not an Acquisitions, because I know it exists because I played it, it's probably, if it's not in Campaign, then where, <laughs> Is oh, because I already beat all these missions. Unless they What's remove this them. Thing? This is called Brigador. This is a a game where you are hired out by the Solo Nobre concern, whose job is to retake a retake a planet that they've been kicked out of that has been taken over by a tyrannical dictator called the Great Leader. Great Leader is dead. So you get to basically crash around this planet and completing your objectives through any manner possible. As long as you survive, there isn't really a wrong way to complete a mission, although some are definitely more stealth focused. Also, the kind of... Um, characters you have access to in each one is going to be different and you just need to beat the mission once to complete it but you can actually complete them with any of the four characters that you're given each with their own unique uh, vehicles which range anywhere from uh, walkers which are, ba are bipedal walkers to literal tanks to uh, heavily modified um, tricycles and also party vans, and also a station wagon that floats, and also a food truck, I think, at one point. Is that funny? Funny um, vehicle. I was going to, I was trying to show Daira the cameo, well not really cameo, it's like he said, or well, like she said, it was a collaboration with Cruelty Squad, where they actually put the character, the um, main character from Cruelty Squad in the game. That's cool. Along with the main character, along with a character from Star Sector, and very two, cool. And actually, two other. There's actually a bunch of cameo characters in this game, believe it or not. There's even one from a web, um, a web comic about a lich whose name I forgot right now. Hard. Mm -hmm. But I'm kind of annoyed because I literally saw it right here, and the game just got updated to include new Halloween levels, which you see right here are D1, D2, and D3. I don't know. I'm kind of That's embarrassed. Right. I can't I find. It's because this is the last. I'm pretty sure this is the last level. Okay, so it should have been right here. Maybe it's in. I'm almost wondering if they did. Here's Steve Lichman, who I was talking about. I forget the name of the comic, but the developers of Brigador really liked his comic. And it's about a lich. It's kind of a slice of life, believe it or not. About, his, about a lich <laughs> and his friends, a werewolf and a vampire. And also Cthulhu. <laughs> it's actually uh, really good. I oh, I found it. Uh, Dyra, I found it. Oh yeah, <laughs> and two fox trot. Yeah. Can someone explain to me why Link is the ideal boyfriend? Uh, why is he Very not simple. the ideal boyfriend? Uh, Peggable. Peggable. True. Peggable. Peggable. True. Yeah. But uh, let's go. And he has a master sword, so. For a massive sword, cute, cute blonde hair. Not just a massive sword; he has the the master sword. The ma yeah. yeah, he he masters and baits you with it. Yeah, he does master it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and play one of the new Halloween missions for you. I actually just played it a couple minutes ago and promptly died. So we're gonna see how much longer I last this <laughs> time. I tried playing using this character. I don't know why, but he looks familiar. I feel like I should know Johnny Five Aces from somewhere. It's probably another reference. 
We're going to try playing using a tank, even though I suck at driving tanks in this game because they actually have tank controls. As I mentioned before, you can play, you can beat these levels however you wish, as long as you complete the objectives, and you could even do side objectives mm -hmm. to make more money. There's a lot of stealth in this game, and in a lot of levels you'll be given tiny power suits of powered armor, or even just playing as yourself with a big rifle, and you have to somehow beat the game without dying. So the objective of this map is to kill this orbital defense cannon right there, right? Yeah. I totally forgot which one of these buttons is the charge move, and I wish I knew which one it was because I'm gonna need it pretty soon. <clears throat> is that enemies? Well, why don't we ask them? Oh yeah, they're not happy. Yeah, yeah they're not. They're not happy. You're going to run out of ammunition fairly quick in this game too, but thankfully you can just pick it up from enemies as they die, or you can get them from supply depots. I'm doing pretty well so far because this is a literal tank, but, and this game, this map does not seem to have any suicide bombers. I think I made it actually. Okay, that wasn't so bad. And so you have to exit every level. Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah, makes sense. Don't really want to do a suicide mission, do you? <laughs> You this actually do get money. Into battle. You actually do get money for doing a suicide mission. It'll be sent to your family. <laughs> your, your, your robot family. Here's the uh, one. This is actually, even though I was stuck on this level for the longest time, it's actually one of my favorites for the fact that it's been named the Joyride because you get to either drive a flying station wagon or this. Uh, I don't know what this thing is. It's called the short bus, but it looks like they took the front half of a semi truck and stuck it onto what looks like a freighter or a fishing trawler or something. There is actually mm -hmm. one of these missions you do, in fact, uh, pilot a bus. And I wonder which one of it nice. was. Was it this one? Bitch, I'm a bus. It's not this one. This is the one where you pilot powered armor also. But it does have one of my another one of my favorite uh, mechs. It's actually so. There's a race and there's a separate faction in this game. They're called the Corvids. Corvids are disenfranchised people that don't didn't like um, the Great Leader and formed a resistance faction. Mm -hmm. All of their vehicles are basically junk scrapped together. Like this is a, a tank chassis, a tank chassis with a bunch of cars that have been welded together. Some Tr some uh, old tires and they basically stuck a bunch of guns at the very top and it's piloted by someone at the top. It's called the mm -hmm. treehouse because it's so big. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty, pretty fat. Tall, tall. Do, do, do. I forget what gun does which. Oh, wait. They shoot. Guns to shoot. Big shooting. They fire. That's what they do. I'm pretty sure those red colored folk, those people with the red flashing lights, are suicide bombers. And I can't shoot them because they're too close to the crown and I literally cannot shoot in front of me. I'm also almost out of ammunition. So it's like a moving tower, right? Mm -hmm. It's basically moving tower. tower of cars. We can go over oh. there and uh, we can. Those are civilians. I'm not supposed to shoot them. If I want to be a prick, I totally can. They don't give me any money, or do they? <laughs> oh, those so are civilians. Let me let me see if they give me oh, money by dying. A lot of times. <laughs> this game is also sometimes lovingly called War Crime Simulator. That's a lot of games. That's true. I think Stellaris still has the record as Prime uh, War Crime Simulator, since you could be the Imperium of Man in that game. I totally just shot canisters full of acid at those people. I'm a terrible person. 
They I'm deserve also, it. I also I don't have any ammunition now. left, so except for the acid canister, so I don't know how much longer I'm gonna last in this mission. If I don't mm -hmm. find a supply depot soon, I won't be able to complete this game in a slightly more ethical manner, other than running over people. Project Zomboid moment. <sighs> I mean, there's no one left alive in Project Zomboid anymore, right? No, they're they're adding NPCs in December. I remember in the, uh, what you call it? I remember in the demo I played back when the game was still a retro pixel game. Yeah, on fucking Gasura thirty years ago. <laughs> one of the original, one of the original uh, scenarios in that game was you, like, this uh, murderer or whatever, breaking into your house and forcing you to do stuff or something. Yeah, that that's that's like very old. Mm -hmm. They're bringing that back though. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. So, did they just remake the game yeah, from scratch? Yeah, everyone just they they the they honestly they honestly practically did. I am totally out of ammo. Uh, what are you saying, Eve? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, cool. You know, a murderer coming to your home, forcing you to do things. I can't yeah. get enough. I thought this was a zombie survival simulator. No, this is how this is this is a post-apocalyptic everyone's kind of an asshole simulator. It honestly is. <laughs> it it. it because like um because one of the uh the things they tried to because there's like uh, different traits you can get and like a big part was that like um people will just fuck with you for no reason uh and so you got to be careful about that you know i think that was actually the original uh theme behind zombie films in general especially stuff especially stuff by John, george why am i immediately dead the zombies you were bomber, rich. the zombies weren't oh. nearly as important as the social commentary of basically how society and people fall apart when presented with a extraordinarily bad situation in yeah fact, it's it's there's zombies and now everyone and now any any like concept of dignity or decency is gone. I just realized I'm engineer and I'm not putting down my turrets. Well, like, the zombies are one thing, but you pretty m in most of these movies, the survivors adapt to the zombies pretty quickly, but they always fall apart because they start tearing each other apart, more or less. Yeah. The, the whole thing is the enemy is not the, the zombies, it's the humans, it's the evil in people and stuff like that. Yeah. Because when you think about it, the zombies are, for the most part, indistingu indistinguishable from animals, just really dangerous animals. Very, But yeah. they're still relatively mindless, they're still fairly predictable, and I mean... Honestly, the best, like, the best way to determine if, like, a zombie thing is good is like it can you replace them with just like lots of wolves or like a, bu a couple bears mm. Mm -hmm. yeah so i got a voice line in deep rock and it's like you guys should build some tree houses instead of the robots behold i'm actually piloting mm -hmm. a mech for once I really, I, I really enjoyed Star Sector, but like the interface was really bad. You could also hide by doing this by crouching low. Robots can't hide; they're loud. The other, I think, the game is not just the mech simulator; though. it's also the fact that it's this. There's a lot of social commentary and satire involved, and there's a lot of black comedy or dark humor in this game. In fact, most of the unlockable content that you get in this game from collecting money is actually just lore tidbits, some of which, what, part of which includes a, I don't know if they actually got their, like, lawyers or whatever to write this with in-universe, like, flavor or whatever, but it's basically a contract that you sign for becoming a mercenary of the Solo Nobori, Corpor Solo Nobori, Solo Nobori concern, and it's very long, and it's kind of crass, especially when yeah. it gets to talking about what happens in the event that you die, because you probably will, because you're a PMC, a PMC deniable soldier, more or less. Uh, mm -hmm. There's also even a ebook that you can buy that's part of the uh, downloadable content for this game. Okay, interesting. So they have some law that spans over 
like, outside of the game. Mm -hmm. In fact, there's actually a Brigator 2 coming out called Brigator Killers. So, looking forward to that. Although, uh... And I've alerted the horde, so... Woo! Bad. Left 4 Dead 2 horde alert moment. Man, my uh, my randos are really bad today. After I die in this map, I'm gonna actually sh try and find and show you the level that is like by default. It has to be played stealth by default because you're just one man or one tiny person against a lot of big boys. That big boy, in fact, that scary thing. Let me find it actually. Uh, Where... Numa just said that your avatar is cute. My avatar is cute. Well, thanks. Yeah. This is actually a default Storm avatar, but I'm cute. using it for a time being. And I was using uh, apparently an idol ma an idol master character for using it th through face rig. I found you through face rig for the longest time. I don't yeah. use face rig as much anymore, or do the live 2D programs as much right now, just because they tend to be less uh, stable than this one for some reason. They just crash a lot. Yeah. Uh, especially when I'm playing a game that requires heavy use of my graphics card for whatever reason. Really? I'm fucking pissed. Sorry. I thought that would happen more often using VC Face since this is using an actual 3D model, but for some reason it's stable even when I'm playing like Cyberpunk, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> uh, to a head pat. Numa is apparently having. Yeah. Karaoke night? Uh, his parents, yeah, <laughs> his parents are having a karaoke night, and I'm guessing they're having it at home. Oh. Is it this one? I like how Korean games always have, like, really hot characters. You mean they should have ugly characters? No, I, I, just, I just think it's cool. <laughs> Hey, it's very cool. More. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Yeah, uh, so I was like halfway through a boss mission, like 20 minutes in, and I was I was kiting because like the rest of my team is really bad. So I was taking my time to kite and kill all the fucking robots. And so the gunner says, what the fuck are you waiting for? And then kills the game. And I'm like, bruh. So many of these green beards will like rage quit, and it's like you, you do understand that when you rage quit, you, you don't get anything, right? Like you're like you're not wasting my time alone. You're wasting three other people's time because you're because you're bad at the game. It's even worse in fighting games. If you rage quit in a fighting game, at worst someone or only one person is upset because you didn't finish your game. But when you rage quit in a co in a co-op game, oh, terrible. Well, like if you rage quit and you're and you're not host, it's fine. But like if you're host, you're just being an asshole. Like if you're mad, just AFK from the game and let everyone else carry you. Or just, you know, don't host games if you're the kind of person that can't see the game through the end, I guess? Honest, honestly, yeah. Is it this one? Hmm. I hear beeping. Is there a crate? No, that's from this game. Unless I'm not. What is that? I, don't think, I think your stuff is muted. No, like, like it's the it's the cargo crate beep. I swear. Oh no, it might, it might have actually been your thing because there's nothing here. I wonder. If right, our, our, our our gunner's name. Rage quitters will be left. At. So this is what I'm talking about. I'm a very tiny, very, very tiny, very squishy power... Th I'm not even a mech. This is technically powered armor. I'm in a city, a very well-detailed cityscape. And there are a lot of nasty-looking tanks there, and a lot of people looking to spot me. I need to somehow make my way through here without drawing too much attention, even though I can make sweet money by killing all these extra car targets, like this supply depot or this orbital cannon. I actually don't know where the target is. 
It's somewhere in... It's, I see a target somewhere in this direction. So let's try going up here first. Hmm. See? I have to kill that tank and I've already been spotted. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. I can't believe Stormy is dead. Bad. Stormy, no. Stormy, no. <laughs> shit. Stormy. Please do not I, die. Uh, I you got have suicide bomb. Try. I had one. <laughs> you gotta kill him. You gotta fight him. Beat his ass. That's why sometimes I get frustrated and I will just pick. Just be like, you know what? Fuck it. We're going loud. We're going loud. We're going loud. <laughs> Burst and makes me feel good. The new voice lines from the update are like so silly. This guy, I think part of the reason why a lot of people still don't Not know about cool. Brigador. Sorry, what? Huh? I like the new voice lines where they say, Where is the molly? Alright. We left All right. here in the space, Rick. When you try to call the molly on the. Uh, extra, uh, like, on site refinery missions or something. Yeah, that's cool. I mean. Molly is annoying, but I do love her with every fiber of my being. Oh, that big boy is angry. They're both angry. Everyone is mad. And I've gotta, gotta survive. <laughs> I really hate this fucking rebels. Survival is optional. <laughs> I can also just crush people. Bonk. <laughs> Between your thighs. Mm -hmm. Hot. Yeah. Just crash them between your thighs. Stormy Death. thighs. Death Stormy by thigh. degrees. I'm out of ammunition, Fox. I'm screwed. <laughs> you're, 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 fi are you, you're firing mm -hmm. foxes as ammunition? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Weaponized uh, fox you... girls. Damn. Are you sure you don't have any ammunition left? I'm completely I'm sure. sure. I'm sure there's still. <laughs> Wait, there's a sub lady pope. Oh, I exploded. I can't uh, believe Stormy is firing you. me at incredibly high velocities. Incredible, very incredibly hig, very, very hig. incredibly <laughs> hig speeds. Incredibly hig speeds. Um. Hmm. Hi. Hi, Nero. How are you doing? Hello, with me. <coughs> Welcome. Oh, you. Welcome. I'm slightly sick. Oh. Just slightly though. Just slightly. Well, I have headphones. <coughs> I have a computer and no monitor because my mother has to ship it from the states. Oh. Why is no. your mother in the states while you are here? Huh? Oh, I probably misunderstood. No, I live in Germany now. Oh, okay. Oh, we get to do it. This is the party van I was talking about. <laughs> Bro, how he's streaming on like Twitch and then also Discord at the same time? Uh, magic. Army is a professional. Okay, I'll change the rations for now. Why, why are you joining the... Oh. I have to play some Hunt Showdown. I'm gonna no. help the newbies, you know? Yeah. Yep. That's just how it is. That's yeah. how it be. Russian. <coughs> Everyone is moving. That Russians be, be like, yeah, work. I'm Russian. Yep. Gotta have the newbies. But I have them. Help them not be noobies. We go here happenings at the shop. At least uh, on Friday when somebody left. So we had an entire ceremony to celebrate his, him leaving. Really? Though that happened. That's that's when you know someone's fucking despised. <laughs> <clears throat> no. 
what happens to everybody who leaves. Uh, basically, they wrap you up in duct tape and then put you under the emergency shower. Do they also cover you in oil? No. Except it's just in Germany where it's really fucking cold because it was like four, well, five in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Right now, Germany and France, it's really cold. I was gonna say... If it's so What's cold, on? if it's so cold, then why aren't you cuddling with someone right now? Checkmate, liberals. How do you know <laughs> that she is not cuddling with us right now, and you were just not unaware of it? That's true, we're cuddling in cyberspace. Speaking of which, Eve, do you want to continue playing Star Renegades? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, that I mean, would if you're gonna be, be here fun. a while, I, I get because I didn't have anything planned yeah, except yeah. for maybe showing you uh, the programs, YouTube programs yeah. and stuff like that. Be fun. I'm gonna go see what the uh, others are doing in the other chat. Cool. Do, do, do. Wait, did it... Oh, I forgot. Wait, no, if I'm streaming OBS, it's not that bad. Alright. Let me boot up Star Renegades and we'll continue from last time. Oh yeah, there's there's two different uh two different uh, uh channels. Mm -hmm. They they all betrayed us. <laughs> I, Star Renegades. Must I be betrayed like that? I don't get it. I don't got it. We'll get them back. You just, you wait. Let me get them back. Just back you wait. Black. Oh, almost forgot to do the thing. Sorry, I need to... Where's VC face? There you are. The eternal transparency. There we go. I figured it out. Figured what out? What the other chat's for. Really Being <laughs> Russian. Yeah. <laughs> Being Russian. That's generally they be what Russian they're doing. To their heart's yeah. content. <clears throat> I think this was the last one we were playing. October 17, 2021. <clears throat> well, Fatal Frame on Switch plays so much better in handheld mode than it does on a TV. It's because there's no latency, right? What? No, because of how the actual game controls. Oh, okay. <clears throat> there we go. Well, I mean, I say on a TV, but I actually have a Switch Lite and I was just connecting a controller to it because I probably should have just bought a normal Switch. Do you have a Switch Lite or something? Yeah, I have a Switch Lite. Okay. Well, because I was in freaking tech school and I'm like, oh, I don't have a TV, so there's no point. <laughs> well, there is also, like, the whole controller. Thing. Yeah, that. Fatal Frame. <laughs> But that wasn't considered when I went to the exchange and then was like, hey, a Nintendo Switch, and then bought it immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Fatal frame, but you use a camera as the controller. <clears throat> Fox, I can't well, buy anything I except a particle blaster, but he can't use it right now because he's only level 6 and it's level 7. In handheld mode, it actually, like, feels Hi. like a, they got the sensitivity, like, perfect, so you actually wave it around similar to a camera. <laughs> <clears throat> you do not watch your stream, and instead watch it on uh, Twitch, because that will actually, yeah. See the gameplay. You... oh! Because you could only see... okay. Well, feel free to. Um, yeah, it was too small because you were streaming the whole uh, streaming software. That's true. That was my workaround to try and stream my desktop and on in two different places at once. I guess what you could yeah. do is... Just remember to mute the stream on Twitch so that you don't get reverb that, and hear my voice twice. Yeah, voice that's twice. what I did. <laughs> yeah, what I just did. <clears throat> okay. Well, whatever works. I'm kind of 
curious how it is that you've been getting more and more people that are just stopping by and finding the stream at random. Do you think it's the algorithm? I have no Twitch's idea. Algorithm? It's it's because she's French. Honestly, I I can I can show you. It's and the, the thing yeah. is, it's the French. I don't think so. No, yeah, it's the French yeah. media cabal, the French mafia. It's the French mafia. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but I can show you um, how I've been. I've been getting <laughs> less and less uh, views. Uh, doing my. If you actually look at. Fuck, that's not what I wanted to do. If you actually look at like the videos, the thing is, you can clearly see like playing a popular game like Baldur's Gate. I had a lot of people dropping by. But if you actually go to creative dashboards and then go to insight and go to channel analytics and I'm going to do average viewers, mm -hmm. you can see that the average viewer wasn't very high on this stream. Oh. It was only uh, 4.3. <coughs> I and I had an, a higher average viewer on the inscription streams but you can see that the views they decrease because basically they drew more people in but less people uh, stay if that makes sense that makes so sense. for example you can see that i have 61 views on the first inscription mm -hmm. live then 26 uh then uh this one is a two-part of uh, let's say 39 mm -hmm. and then i only had uh, nine views on the last one against Lashy Bots. I feel like those nine views were probably from your actual followers, though, right? If there's a way yeah, to tell. the the thing, yeah, because you can look at the average. It's 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 lower, but if if you start by unique shadows, uh, oh no, unique views. Mm -hmm. That's that was Friday. This is when I did the the death stream. Today and that was Friday. Oh. Yesterday. Ooh. I see. I guess it's not too different from how sometimes artists will create fan art of the characters that just happens to be trending at the time or happens to be popular so that they can get more people to show up and then go back to doing what they were doing before. Yeah. I guess the, the thing is, it's more like uh, the views, they only show how many people. But I don't show what the average viewer is because oh. I, you know, I had 85 views on this one because a lot of people drop by. But when you look at the average viewer, you can see that it's not that high. Okay, that makes sense. You know? So it's uh, deceptive, basically. Yeah, because starting a new thing, you're going to have less views. But you're gonna have uh, no, you're gonna have more views, but you're not necessarily gonna have a big following. But if you keep streaming the same thing, the views are gonna decrease because people are less likely to start watching the thing in the middle. You know. That's true. Yeah. I guess it's something like that because you can see that yesterday I only had nine views on my inscription stream, and then. I did just a random game dev thing, and I got 36 views, <laughs> you know. Everyone wants to see a game dev. Yeah, but there wasn't a lot of people that stayed in the end, because when you look at the average view, I didn't have a really high average. That's in fact, true. if you look at the stream summary, I had an average view of 3. I think that's in part because, like a lot of things, unfortunately, um, the actual work that gets put into creating these things that we love is not is the sort of thing that only yeah. people are like interested in that subject matter or interested in like the process behind how yeah. things are created as opposed to you know the general person I mean, at the same time not too much to do about that i think yeah no but the thing is um i do notice that while i have a a good, how can I say, a good, um, like, when I stream something over and over again, like for inscription, mm -hmm. uh, people were staying for longer time, and they were chatting and stuff like that, and, you know, they were involved in the game, mm -hmm. but 
I gained very few followers from the streams because it's mostly people that were already watching. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. So basically, streaming new things is gonna get you new people. But yeah, I think that's how it works. You'd probably have be you'd probably have better luck if you were streaming vegan cooking recipes. Vegan cooking recipes? Yeah. Vegan I can cooking do vegetarian recipes. cooking recipes. Why? Is that the thing on Twitch? Yeah. People do vegan cooking recipes. You gotta do oh. you gotta go vegan. Nah, she's just memeing. Okay, okay. Memeing, but not really. <laughs> I, I, you know, I don't get the internet. <laughs> that, that's entering danger. You made me see how innocent and how, like, unfit I am for the internet. It's... I don't know, danger you is kind of great because it's just pure chaos all the time. Slightly controlled chaos. Yeah. So it looks... I am lost beyond beyond uh, recognition. Um, Shall we solely on fourth fo our fox? Solely our, our solely what? fourth to the next planet. Yes. Boom boom. Go to the next planet. <laughs> next planet, please. We go to the next planet. Is this game really only five levels long? I mean, to be fair, no, dude, be it's nasty space to get cam. Just mm. it looks the same Okay, though. so what do we got here? Oh, Nero, how's this the how's the PS5 game. controller? It's nice. Nice. <clears throat> I mean, it's really it's comfortable for games that are not <laughs> rhythm games. <laughs> oh, not very good for rhythm. Well, I mean, it's okay. It's usable, but it's very big and fat, and it forces you to hold it in a certain way that's like comfortable for like anything else except for rhythm games. Yeah, <clears throat> and it's also really heavy, which I don't like. But it's nice. I bet you could rip out some of the internals to remove some weight. Nothing like being stuck in a crypt for aeons and yet. You know, you know, you know what I really hate. I hate, I hate, I hate the modern trend. Sorry, those dude talking in my games. I was talking over. Instinctively, uh, so you know how the um, how people associate things being heavy with higher quality. Yeah, I hate, I hate that. I hate that so much. Like we could have had really, really lightweight everything, but no. It has to be heavy because retards go, iPhone heavier means more expensive. It feels yeah. more cool. I don't fucking care. Make me, make me game better. I, I, I will say that, that there are some advantages, but for example, I do find like a controller being heavy, like the Xbox One, a big reason why I prefer it compared to the Switch Pro controller is that the xbox one has some heft to it yeah but that it's doesn't just... help you in any way it's i i don't know i guess it, i feel like i have a better grip on the controller than i do with well i mean to a certain extent yeah but like like a lot of modern phones now like just have random stuff made out of stainless steel instead of polymer just so it's heavier probably though yes yeah, stainless steel but be stronger but also it would chip it's actually not that stronger i'm i'm uh, i've been taking a lot of materials classes and like polymers are honestly just better than everything else okay so it's like it's like it's honestly weird because people like people have like this uh, this this conception that like plastics aren't very strong but like there's plastics that are like stronger than like the strongest steel they're just really expensive yeah makes sense I'm against materialism. I'm against God, that Americans. <laughs> Fuck off. I don't. Why is it asking me if I want to? No, we have zero points. Do you want to live camp? Yes. You want to live camp? Do you want to live camp? 
Do you want to do that thing where we read the voice lines in character again? Yeah. Let's yes. do it. <laughs> I wonder how this guy must be feeling, because I lost, in my very first run, I lost against him, and he leveled up and got this far, and I've just pretty, we've just been murdering all of his companions mm. left and right. Yeah. You honor me, mother. <laughs> oh, mother. I you honor me. I wonder if the mother? overseer is actually the uh, lady that we saw in the trailer, do you think? I have no idea. I suspect that the game is not... I suspect that we're going to like get through all this stuff, we're going to kill the Overseer, and then find out that that's not even half of the game, and then we'll have to use all this <laughs> crap. <laughs> Look at this! You, you, are, you are too influenced by the, the inscription let's play. Pretty much! <clears throat> Welcome to Dagon, team! Still beautiful country here, almost makes you forget there's a war going on. <laughs> Unfortunately, rampant industrial production has rendered each and every organism incredibly poisonous, so don't lick any mutatodes. Yeah, they might turn gay if they lick the mutatodes. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was got gonna re re <laughs> We've got the Imperium hemmed in. After Dagon, there's nowhere else for them to run. If you stop them here and now, we stop them for. That's so fucking for. That's totally foreshadowing. It's the game is not going to end <coughs> after this map. There's no way. Mm -hmm. We haven't even spent that many hours in it. Yeah. I love the behemoth and a flagship. I'm tired and hungry and the intern is not gonna like me when I'm hungry. Because I'm hungry for pay and blood. <laughs> I like how... I've said this before in a previous playthrough, but I like how over the top these characters are. Yeah, I'm right. hungry for pay and blood. Should we go north or south? Uh, the north has uh, a standard robot dude and south has Superman. A super robot, whatever this thing is. What do you think, Fox? <coughs> or I can go up here and fight this turret, get shoot, shot, shooty shoot, make shoot by a turret. Uh, well, I would say maybe uh, stuff up a bit before the commander, so try to find something that doesn't take too much time, but still leaves you a few crates or like a few things to, to improve. I will say uh, the armor play has been really good. Yeah, so that no could kidding. be something. The tanks or the God, that was loud. This game. I see there's a bunch of equipment there. I didn't so think that would be that loud. <coughs> Every game on Switch seems to have d a different volume. Why are, why are you boosted? We can probably we might what we might be able to do is to go through here and then grab the DNA, the DNA up there so we can upgrade our characters and. There's a shield station there to repair shields because we're gonna be our shields are probably gonna get fucked over by then. And then an armor station right there actually. And food. <coughs> but there's also epic computer. Yeah, I think that might be the best bet. We could probably go in a counterclockwise direction. Maybe. Assuming our asses don't get kicked by then. Sound good? Well, oh, Scout, you just fucking... Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Once more into the breach. <laughs> oh, there's actually two of them, and one of them has an obnoxiously large gun. <laughs> or is that a motorbike or something? I don't know. <laughs> when was the last time we even played this game? They are going to shoot... Uh, oh. So this person oh. has an AOE attack, and this person is going to shoot my the uh, main DPS, which is problematic for mm. more than one reason. Um, I don't want to use Fortress yet. Well, I think Fortress actually requires sweet. Fortress is the the squads all allies and fu uh, fu uh, uses fury, right? I oh, know he doesn't. It used to use Fury, I wonder why... 
Huh? It doesn't use fury anymore. That's weird. Yes. Oh. oh. This one uses fury, and this uses fury, but fortress doesn't. Have. <coughs> huh. So what's keeping me from? Retracts twenty-five percent of the damage. Twenty-five. Uh, Twenty percent def defense. Uh, God is on yourself. Yeah, guards now fortress only... is, I guess, uh, the no. default. Guards... Compare, uh... Guard is one person now. Fortress is save one. Oh. Okay, so what's the difference between guard and fortress? Oh, the difference is, so you know when you guard someone, it, she, it makes them chew up her shields instead of their shields? If you use fortress, I assume, yeah. any time they attack any person on the field, it hits her instead. So she's <clears throat> effectively being hit twice. Since there are two enemies. Or she's hit for all of them, which yeah. But okay, look at God and Fortress. Yeah, it's just wanna. Okay, switch. Okay. Uh, okay, now it's, it's the exact same. Oh, it's the exact same. same. I guess Fortress is just for everyone. Yeah, but uh, before it used to use Fury. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it used to use Fury. <laughs> now it doesn't. Okay. Which is kind of cool, actually. I wonder if that's because she leveled up, or did they change the game? I don't know. So we'll use Fury. Or use a uh, Fortress. Uh, who should be our first victim? This person doesn't have any shields even. They only have armor. This person has shields and armor. We always want to be before or to uh, attack them before they attack first so they can get knocked out of the uh, time thing majigger too. So we should probably do Sunder mm -hmm. or Slash. What do you think? Um, Sandra <coughs> has more uh, armor breaking rights, but on crit. Mm -hmm. and so only if when you can't crit, armor only gets broken if their shield's broken. That's the problem. Yeah. So uh, try to do uh, yeah this one. Oh yeah, crit. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, uh -huh. he's gonna get knocked out of the park, basically. <laughs> and we have the, uh... Okay, wall jumps just didn't fucking work this time. We can, we're currently, we could turn on Shidor. <clears throat> right now is a speed R, so that they have slightly more time units. We can stimulate someone, or we can increase someone's defense, or we can just add to attack. We could even knock him out, actually. Oh my god, dude! We got a second rage quitter! What do you think? We should break him? Yeah, break so him. <laughs> Break his mind. I'll mind break him. And then we got the best, uh, the uh, sniper up in here. Uh, let's see. If I use sniper mode, I can do quick shot on this guy, right? Actually, this <laughs> still, this shot. will, even with sniper mode, these guys are so slow that even with sniper mode, he hits <laughs> first, which also penetrates shields, and that's the reason it's doing damage to his armor. It looks like. awesome. Well, no, it, actually, him. it's so strong it kills his shield and hits him in the armor. So we'll do that. And this is the new guy, the uh, Han Solo, basically. Yeah. That's up to you. Can't which... explosive. Place your beds. P mm -hmm. Cancel Overwatch. Cover fire. Repost. Okay. That's interesting. Mm hmm. This is if an enemy sets up an overwatch, cover fire, or frosty, it breaks it. Yeah. A repost, And then sorry. the blitz one is just a very fast one, I think. Mm -hmm. That's the that's a uh, straight up light attack, and it, he basically teleports behind them and throws a grenade at them. It looks flashy. Maybe like... a maybe straight shot? Mm -hmm. Is that any reason to do something else doesn't look like it. And you can break someone, yeah. We're just gonna break their Break faces. his mind. <laughs> Are you fucking joking? Of course he can. <clears throat> he was only 10 days from retirement. Now... Yeah. <laughs> <Nice. Dead. laughs> the unfortunate problem is that since they were knocked back, they'll lose their turn, but now they're gonna be back here at the front again in the time time whatever the hell you call this. <clears throat> we're probably going to use 
fortress again. Because they're going to get attack on off of us this time. Uh, we could probably... We can choose to slash. Or we can... Actually... Why is it not letting me choose the other guy? That's weird. Um. I can only attack one person, it looks like. Wait. Huh. Yeah. If I use Sunder, she's gonna get crit shot by these two guys. If I use or cleave for that matter. Slash Yeah. For some reason is only targeting the bike. I guess the bike is in front of the other guy. That's the only reason why it would drop it would not let me attack him. No, I think the bike is the second one actually. Oh. I wonder right. what's going on. Oh no. On. Yeah. Oh no, no no, no no no, you're right. Yeah. The bike is in front. I don't know why then, but Maybe because of the twirl maneuver? Maybe because of that? Probably. Look at the effect. Uh, twirl maneuver, twirl maneuver. It's not letting me highlight the grip. Huh. <laughs> well, we'll find out what his gimmick is soon enough, I'm sure. Yep. There yep, are yep. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go ahead. We can't mine knife any well. We could, but it's not going to do much. So, what do you think? Should we buff someone's defense? Oh, uh, yeah, the 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 shield, shield one maybe. If she's gonna shield the other ones. Mm -hmm. <coughs> And we get the chance to quick shot someone. Because sniper is based like that. And finally we can do one of these. Here's your bets. Mm -hmm. Don't do. Uh, do you wanna try uh that on the twirl maneuver? I don't think it would do mo uh, much, but... Which one? I, I I don't know if the place your bets would uh, cancel the twirl maneuver or not. Uh, it doesn't say so, unfortunately. Hmm. But it's also the second strongest attack that he has be behind Street Shot. It's also a lot. Fa it's also a lot faster. Apparently, it's an instant. It's an instant. <laughs> we constantly mm -hmm. explosives. Well, I mean, feel free to do either. <laughs> honestly, just even to get a feel of the character. No problem. I'm gonna go ahead and do Blitz, so it reduces their defenses since it's also an instant and it's auto crits. Which should be uh -huh. nice. I told you it's flashing. She blocks the laws. Mm -hmm. uh, why? They're still stuck over there for some reason. We'll probably have to do Fortress again, I guess. I wonder why they're so fast. Tis a mystery. At least they're not critting us, which would have been terrible. But... <laughs> She's gonna take damage, though. Yeah. So we can defend. Try to kill the hit and run uh, this turn, I think. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Use the. Either that, that's gonna be after the attack. Or oh, maybe maybe you can use the, the 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 blitz attack to push him back. Right? If you go, yeah, we here can. and use blitz. <laughs> yeah. It's, and it's an instant move too. Yeah, in instant break. Instantly, mind broken. 
Yeah, boof his boof sounds. That's really good. Is his action uh, used? Yeah, it used his action. None. It was not a free action, unfortunately. Okay. So now we just got uh, the, the out. monk and also oh. the robot. Okay. <laughs> People just drop in and out, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mind knife. Mind knife. You know, he might actually die. Well, that's also a crit. Yeah. Huh. Ah. Yeah, of course it's gonna crit because no one is. Ah, uh, he doesn't even have a turn. This one will kill him. I don't know what that did. Hopefully nothing important. Thankfully he's dead already. <coughs> We're actually doing pretty well so far, all things considered. I was kind of afraid that these guys would put up more of a fight. I kind of wonder if we should just go all in on the attacks on this guy, what do you think? Well, right now he's in the middle, so you can, yeah, kind of uh, just uh, break him, honestly. Mm -hmm. And just uh, attack rightly on him. He shall be ended rightly. Yep. <laughs> All his armor is gone. <laughs> I'm really curious what that algorithmic reset thing is. Oh. That's what's going to do. No, it's He's going the, to... Yeah, it's going to repair his armor. So I guess it's we like... better kill him as quickly as possible then, huh? Yeah. <coughs> uh, I would maybe blitz too. Because then he... Like, if you blitz... This might actually kill him. Yeah, yeah, it will. Because it does it before he repairs his armor. Oh. Oh. Well, we got quick shot. The sniper yeah. saves the day once again. <laughs> <coughs> quick shot. <laughs> quick shot. Dirty boy. Look at all this DNA we got from that fight. 64. Wow. <laughs> Was it a special fight? I don't know. <laughs> we can level up one person. Who shall it be? Oh, uh, fuck. Um. <laughs> I mean, they're all good options. Mm -hmm. Just look at what they gain. This person get uh, the main character gets sever, which I don't know what. Oh, okay. This um, pierces 125 percent damage against shields and pierces 10 percent of armor. Applies bleeding and ionized. This gets empathic surge, which cancels debuffs and damage over time effects and applies shield regeneration and the robot gets overwatch which allows them to attack people if they get attacked or applies it on other people I should if say. they attack mm -hmm. they they put it on someone and it's like will overwatch target will be attacked if they attack yeah mm -hmm. unfortunately they cannot crit doing this move Yep. So I would say the most interesting would be Sava. Mm -hmm. Right now. At least it looks like it. Level six. Cool, cool. 
And so we continue onward. We get free stuff too. Mm -hmm. We can choose uh, Phasma Gauntlets, Corruptive Sword, or Corruptive Blade, or Laser Blade. We can't use any of them. Phasma right Gauntlets. <laughs> Penetrate Shield and Armor, 25 and cents. Inflicts vulnerable. Plus 38 armor damage on all attacks. Mm -hmm. I, I have to say the laser gauntlets, they do steal armor, which is pretty good for armor regeneration. Mm -hmm. And there's the laser blade that steals 4 to 11 armor, which is pretty good mm -hmm. as well. What do you think? I would say either, either the phasma gauntlets, because they have really good, or the laser blade. This is hard. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Can we see how much damage it does? Um, does it... Doesn't... <coughs> no, wait. It doesn't have any damage. Specifically, right? Unfortunately, no. It does not show how much damage it does. It just shows the uh, I... effects. Maybe it doesn't do more damage, maybe it doesn't change that, but maybe it's just an equipment that has effects. <coughs> if that's the case, look at the Pulse Blade, what does it do currently? Pulse Blade no, currently no, does uh, steel shields and... Uh, steel shields all and all attacks, and also does 25% damage versus shields because it has Iron Eyes. Yeah, so you could steal armor instead of stealing shields. And you can have plus 25 damage versus health and inflicts iron uh, irradiated. Mm -hmm. All penetrates armor 25%, plus 25% damage versus health, inflicts corruption. <coughs> I don't know what corruption is. I don't know what it is either. We have not fought anyone that uses corruption yet. Press space on it. No, uh, shift, you mean? Oh, shift, yeah. Oh, on the corruptive blade. Oh. It does... Oh, it makes them, I guess, lose 12 health per round. And they do 20% less damage. Okay. And then, a uh, vulnerable, what does it do? Vulnerable? Um, gives them... Makes them have 35% less defense against crit damage. So they take more crit damage. Uh, honestly, uh, any other good option, I think. Any of them are a good option? Yeah, it <clears throat> depends on whether you want to keep the armor stealing, basically, on the gauntlets. Hmm. So I would say the captive blade I find a bit less interesting, but it does have armor piercing, which is good. I don't really use the tank as an attacker that much, which is my concern with the Phasma Gauntlets. So maybe you need the Phasma Gauntlets less. <laughs> You're saying I should- I need the Phasma Gauntlets? No, I think- I think no. I think your argument is right. Yeah. I think maybe going Laser Blade would be more interesting. Okay. Do, do, do. You, you stashed it instead of equipping it? Yeah, because it's a level 7 sword and she's level 6 still. So she oh, can't... She, she is? Yeah, they're all level 6. So she oh, can't wow. actually okay. use the shield or use that sword yet. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. do, do, do. Onwards and upwards. In, the, in our case, literally upwards to fight these drone things. Oh man, there's a lot of them. Should we go? <coughs> well, I guess we'll go see. Everyone is attacking the tank first, except for this robot here that's going to drain uh, Han Solo. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, everyone's just attacking her for some reason. 
<laughs> she has the highest threat level. Maybe deflect? I could yeah. deflect, yeah. Let's go I ahead. Would, I would say deflect, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna go. See you, Nero. Oh, okay. See you. Bye bye. Oh, people, they live in a. in an instant. Good god. Alright, so this is the new attack we got from upgrading Win, something called Sever. The, she still does extra damage against shields because of the gaunt because of her weapons, but oh no, this attack also does extra damage versus shields, but only if it's a crit, which is easy to do in this game because you just need to hit before yeah. yeah. It looks like because this guy is in the front though, we can't attack anyone but him for right now. But we can knock him out of the park. Yeah, I guess so. Mm -hmm. And since everyone's attacking the shielder first, I guess we could use peace on them. Yeah. Seems good. Who gets to get shot first? Maybe we shoot this guy? Or... He can shoot anyone, I would say, really. uh... Yep. And you don't even need, yeah, you don't even need the crit shot. Uh, though... He can attack everyone, but not everyone can, so... Maybe the bio drain. Yeah, because the, the bio drain one is the, the only one attacking someone else than the shielder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In, in fact, I wonder if he can... No, he can't attack anyone that is not... This guy, unfortunately, but he's kind of in the way, which is annoying. Wait, no, he can, actually. Yeah. So I wonder. I wonder if the sniper is going to kill him now, because I got rid of his shields. Let's see what happens. Yeah, probably. Oh, it's again, someone just popping in and out, I guess. Oh, he's still alive. Could be worse, I guess. Good God. Ow. That hurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it did damage on health, even though he still has some. Looks like she's targeting the ta our, our powered armored dude. Instead, this guy looks like he's gonna throw a frag grenade at us, I'm guessing. Point blank. What do you think? Deflect again? I would deflect with her, yes, because she's gonna take three, three attacks. Mm -hmm. And we could... attack just about anyone with this quote with this move huh. or I can by Dwayne might be a good idea or you can focus on the first one we probably should be focus firing on these people one at a time otherwise they're all gonna be injured but none of them will be down I say we go for this guy because he's closest to dying. Yeah, I think so too. Mm -hmm. Oh. And he does have damage. Mm hmm. Ready? Can shots. Yeah. Actually, can he can't quick shot them? Damn it. Or actually, you know what? I could just have the sniper kill him, and then have her shoot someone else. Yeah, can do that. Yeah. So have you? Keen shot, kill this person. And then who shall we have Han Solo shoot, or attack, or blow up? 
Uh, well, I would say maybe the first one because that's the one everyone can hit. His defenses are already weakened, so I guess there's no point. Yeah, and you can break him. Yeah. There was... Weren't you breaking him with place your bats? Oh, I don't know what it was, but there was an attack that broke him. Yeah, I wonder what that is. Is it the trick shot one? That one requires fury. Which I haven't used yet. Huh. I have 40 Fury though. Oh, this one does. Here we go. Yeah, can do that. Wrecked. Would regret. Yep. Down, but not out, as they say. Hmm. How come he... Oh no, the little one died, though. Oh, because Which he got... starting to take health damage. Uh, the little one died because he got stabbed and then shot by the sniper. Yep. Looks like they're all going for the tanks again. They're not going to be throwing grenades anytime soon. Actually, what am I doing? So deflect. Looks like this is the guy up here in front, I guess. Mm hmm. And she's going to get the shit shot out of her, lose half her health in the next turn. I just realized. Maybe we should have mm. her guard. Maybe, but she doesn't have... She's gonna take half damage too. Yeah. Maybe... I don't know, breaking people? If those two people in the back could be broken, that would not be a problem, but they're being blocked by this dude. Is the, unless we do the... Try that. Okay, that removes him. And then we got two more here, and they need to kick this guy out of the ballpark. And he can. That doesn't break him. This one might. No, that's. The, you tried. It doesn't break him. I wonder why. Because it doesn't push him back. Yeah. Because it removes it, sends this thing backwards, but it doesn't send him to break mode, which is the thing that sucks. It's only work on the first one, it looks like. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah. At the very least, he'll be pretty much weakened.
Okay, this one's broken. That guy there is like on the edge. Oof. Damage is not so bad so far. I think we should be good in this next round, maybe. Yeah, hopefully so. This guy is about to throw a frag grenade at everyone though, so I think he's first. <laughs> yep. Then we'll go... Hmm. He'll take care of that. This guy... Wait, weren't, bo weren't both of them going to die just now? Or... I don't know. I lost track, actually. Um, <laughs> you can revert your turn if you want. Yeah, that's true. So I'm pretty sure I was going to have them wail on this guy, so that he'll die. She'll yep. mind knife this guy to death, and then we're going to have... Him. Wait, to death? Well, it's gonna kill, kill it'll, them? It'll take my knife yeah, and okay. the sniper to kill the one in the back. So all that's left is this okay. guy here. I don't know if you can do enough damage. Oh yeah, this guy's gonna crit on A1. Wait, who is this? Oh. The only problem is he's gonna Maybe crit... Maybe focus on different people? Yeah. There we go, that's not too bad. <sighs> okay. Mm. Just gets confusing sometimes, I swear. Mm. Yeah. So if I use this, he's not gonna get she's not gonna get crit shot by him, the one in the middle. And it'll also break him, so mm -hmm. he'll be out of combat. I can use this to kill the guy in the back using it these two. It doesn't kill him, yeah. Yeah, it does. I mean, with them together, it kills yeah, him. Yeah, using this, this two. Which means I can and use then... this to kill the guy in the front. Yeah, but he's already broken. Oh, that's true. So I should attack this guy instead. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Ow. That's a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. This battle is substantially harder than the last one, I gotta say. At yeah, it is, because there's a lot of enemies, I guess. Thankfully, it's game over, so not so bad. Yeah. What? Oh. What is it? I was. I thought the uh, next turn had already gone, but I was wrong. There we go. Mm. And it's a lot of DNA, DNA yeah. And that's a lot of DNA, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Lore. Surprise, surprise! There are more temples. I wish the Titans had been a little bit more diverse in their interests. Mm -hmm. Those are the Titans for you. If they're not battling one another for control of the galaxy, they're building a mysterious temple. All, All of the... this could have been avoided if the Titan planets Park and Rack had been better at enforcing their regulations. 
Level up. Shall we raise one of these two? Or raise one of the others to uh, help us Well, maybe the one that can use the sword. Or just look at... What, what does the level 7 give? Th uh, thrilling lessons and stirring proclaiming. Like, look at them. Auto shield regen, okay. Repairs 100% armor. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll probably need to raise her after the next battle, though, just because it cancels debuffs and damage over time. It's kind of disgusting. Yep. <laughs> I would say uh, raise uh, win. Yeah. Because that way you can equip the new sword, too. Mm -hmm. She's also the main character, anyway. So let's go ahead and talk to win. And we can sell the old sword for six bucks. Cool. Nice. Mm -hmm. Warmonger employee. <laughs> mm -hmm. We can either go south to go, hopefully, uh, to fight this guy to get the rare tech, or we can go north and go. Oh, wait, no. North is DNA. We need to go there. It's about to get locked down oh. to you, so that's yeah, probably sure. pretty best. Sadly, we won't be able to make it there in time. That's okay. Wish we had like items or something that we could use to heal when, but hopefully it'll be fine. Because it's gonna be nightfall after this mm. one. Yeah, we'll be able to camp. Oh look, it's these guys again. Should be easy, right? <laughs> Hopefully so. And it looks like they're all targeting him and her for some reason. I'd say let's guard her since she is, has the lowest health at the moment. We're going to see what we can do about these assholes in the meanwhile. He gets knocked all- holy shit, he gets knocked back all the way there. Yeah. So, yeah. Sad is pretty pushy. Mm -hmm. We can actually break him so he won't even be able to fight. We'll mine knife the big guy with the gun with the uh, guns, and we're going to. Oh. Damn it! Not again. Oh, he's going to get shot. This guy is going to wait. If he's going to get not, I don't need to. We, if I, if we didn't knock this person out, he was going to shoot him and take off most of his health. So yeah, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Yeah. He's about to shoot buckets of pain at everyone. Thankfully, he can be broken this round, and he buckets cannot. Buckets of pain. I assume uh, that's just like. He's gonna try and kill Han Solo in the next round, and he can't be broken now. So we'll definitely need to guard him for sure. Yep. Oh, but wait, you're gonna lose a lot of HP. Yeah. Um. Ooh. We gotta knock this guy out of the park before he shoots everyone with that one attack. Yeah. 
probably the best. Mm -hmm. Use peace on. This will break him. Yeah, you could maybe mine those. Yeah. How come he takes so little damage to the, the other one I wonder? He is still as Yeah, armor. maybe that... Yeah, the... the, 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 yeah. the other maybe guy, a big one, yeah. Yeah, loses half his health. Unless he don't... yeah, he can do a straight shot. Actually, I better def... Uh, yeah, she's gonna take he's, the brunt of the he's attack. Gonna, yeah. He's gonna be guarded. So you can uh, just uh, straight uh, take, like, the straight shot, I think, does the most damage. Mm -hmm. we can and also... how much does it do to the other one? If you go straight shot. You can't hit the other one with straight shot. Oh. But we can just place your bets on him. Which is going to crit and do extra damage along with armor breaking. Ciao. At least you didn't experience the buckets of pain. Mm -hmm. Ah, he didn't die! Oh well, could be worse. He's gonna use buckets of pain now, so if I don't do something to kill him with a sliver of health he has left, this could be bad. Mm -hmm. uh, he's about to use hit and run on middle on the rip win. In fact, he's about to shoot all of them at the same time, which will be a pain in the ass. Uh, hmm. You could use a quick shot to push the hit and run guy. That's true. Haha! <laughs> Good thinking. Now we can now crit him you again. Can... Yep. I'm going to. Since he's away, let's do. So, do remind yourself of like, you kind of have to kill the Baggage big... of Pain guy. Yeah, no kidding. Look at the mine knife. How much would it do? I'm curious. That much? Just yeah, 24? Not much. Sniper Does... doesn't have an action left, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Sniper already went. Unfortunately. I think this guy's gonna get his shot off. It's gonna suck. Look at that shit. You could blitz the hit and run guy. Mm -hmm. They'll at least remove him from the battle. Yep, I would. And then focus on the bucket of pain. Which action did you take with uh, the shielder? Uh, the shielder... I was going to have her... I don't... Actually, I don't... I guess it's better that she gets loses a bunch of armor and much of her health instead of the entire party getting yeeted by buckets of pain. It would. Yeah. But... Can she smash? Oh no, she's gonna die, fuck. 
What? Who? Uh, the shielder. If she tries to take everyone's attack, all their attacks at once, she's gonna die. Unless we can get rid of them, too. Huh. No, because one is broken. Can you kill the, the buckets of... Okay, remove the remove the uh, shield. Because there's no, there's no point in shielding if you're gonna kill him. So have everyone attack, attack the one doing buckets of pain. If they can... Uh, okay. Is shield throw the only thing you can do? Well, I can... Hidden Run is not gonna attack you. You have Feather, but what, how much does the Slash do? Slash does 52. That's better. Do that on the bucket of Pain Guy. She can't you hit can't? the bucket. Yeah. Too far Why? away. Why? Because... That's bullshit. It's right in front. I know, right? It doesn't look like it, but apparently this guy is in front and this guy is in the back, even though they look like they're right next to each other. Yep. They do. If I try to Thunder do it... Thunder would do more damage. Do, uh, does Thunder not uh, work? Uh, the problem with Thunder is he's going to crit shot her if I use Thunder. And it activates after he attacks. Okay, then go to someone else. Go to someone else's turn. And not not her. Like maybe the mine knife. Go my knife. Can you push him back? Uh, oh no, because he's already been pushed back, so he cannot be pushed back more. Mm -hmm. <sighs> then, uh, I mean, do my knife anyway, because the the whole idea is uh, we're gonna try not to use shield this turn and have everyone attack. So do my knife on this guy. Yeah, on the big. One, yes. And then uh, see what you can do with the, the two other characters. Like the sniper and... Yeah. They already went. They already went? Yeah. Oh yeah, they pushed the, the other one back. Okay. Uh... And... What is it you can do with her that would kill him? So you can slash. I can slash the other, the uh, bike person. But you can't slash him. Let's yeah. try to kill him. What would uh, Cleave do? Cleave would do heavy 84 damage, but she's going to get crit shotted by the big guy's bucket of pain. Which okay. I mean, this is the last fight before night falls, so we could probably just heal each other at the evening. Yeah, but do you have something? Just look at the other options. What game is this? Hi, Steel. Star Renegades. Star Renegades. Hi. Hey. Hello. Like, did you check Sunder? Sunder can... Uh, what Sunder can do is... If it crits, which... If it was used on hit and run... Yeah. 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 yeah but it can't crit because it's okay. too slow. And uh, the other one is too slow too. Yeah, this is really slow. This no, one... not the cleave. The sever. Sever is not too slow. I can hit, or uh, but uh, Sever can only hit the uh, bike person. Okay. Uh, well, then uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, I could have her defend maybe too. Maybe shield shielding. I don't know. Maybe shielding the whole team instead and have the. Like, would she die? Yeah, she would yeah. die. Well, uh, which I think. She would die because he's ba she's basically blocking this bullshit attack, which hits everyone at once, all on her own. So she hits gets hit like five times in a row. It's the main problem. If he attacks, um, 
God, Buckets of Pain is such a pain in the ass. It's been well Look named. Look at how Buckets much damage does Fortress, because Fortress is gonna reflect some of the damage, right? Mm -hmm. Only 25% only of damage though. I'm more concerned about the fact that she's going to once again die for in defense of the team as the main tank. Yep. Because that apparently one move kill, or it will protect everyone and prevent them from losing their sh too much shields or health, too mu losing too much health, but she'll end up dying in the process. Yeah. Uh, then. Sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> what I can probably do instead is, yeah. if everyone's gonna get attacked anyway, maybe she can, she can choose to guard one person and reduce the damage they take. I would try one last thing. What's that? Uh, it's first selecting the attacks and then seeing if uh, Fortress kills. So, attacking the, the big guy, theoretically. Precise have a... Oh, uh, no, I just planned the... Yep. Doing that. I think Thunder is the, the only one that... You select Slash? Okay. Do I mean... Them. Sunder can reach him, but he's going to she's gonna get hurt even more because she'll take critical damage is what's gonna happen. Yeah, but if you manage to kill okay, so what I'm saying is if you select the attacks first and then you use fortress and you see if for the reflected damage kills. Oh I mean the reflected damage is not going to be that much is the problem because if you do this if you look to the side, you can see how much damage it shows to his health bar, which is... Yeah, but you al already have ni uh, m Mind Knife selected, I think. Isn't that the damage from Mind Knife? Is it? I, that's the oh, thing it is. I don't You're know. right. It is the damage from Mind Knife. Maybe not. Maybe not. I, I don't know. I can't tell. Uh, I don't know how they show in the UI, but I think, yeah, maybe y your uh, idea was, is best. I'm wondering how Inspire works. If it gives, it says here it gives an extra, extra action this round. Does that mean they get to attack twice? Because if it yes. does, then I can just do Inspire on... I wonder if I could inspire the sniper to shoot twice. Yeah. That seems like it, it's what it implies, yes. Oh my god, it does! <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Now, is that something he can do in that amount of time? He can rip and tear until it is done. <laughs> the keen shot would be pretty fast and do a lot of damage, yeah. Mm -hmm. In fact, I could, if I really wanted to, I could have. Oh, that's only one inspire. But that's okay because now we can. Uh, oh, he's still alive. Fuck. Or. Yeah, but you can use the the shield that you attack this time. With something fast, preferably. Uh, Fuck! This is too strong. Uh, yeah. Ah. <sighs> uh, uh, she can't use Inspire more than once. Fuck! Otherwise, it would have been broken. It can only be executed once per combat. Yeah, makes sense. But, but she can use the Mind Knife, I yeah, assume. She can. I wonder. Stimulate? Oh, stimulate on someone else. Yeah. Oh, yeah, stimulate her. Stimulate Maybe when, she can so. do. Yeah, she can crit, maybe. Because that's tense, this would make it 
15 seconds. Okay, so if I used it on her, she would attack in 5 seconds instead of 15. Oh, yeah. Wait. She would attack Definitely in... Definitely do that. Is this enough? Yeah, 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 yeah. The... I, I... It's worth a shot, I, think I guess. So. Let's yeah, try. try. There's, you can always cancel the the action, right? Uh, no, I can't. That was instant. Okay. But it's so. Oh, but we can do this. Fuck! Yeah. Really? If we have the shielder attack him, maybe he'll. Unless we. It's the do... only attack you can do. Is Wait. It? I got an idea. Use battle, battle cry. cry. Now, Why? now. Ah. No other attack can hurt her. If I had done. Time, good God. Yeah. Cleave is still too slow, but. This would have been perfect. At least it'd be irradiated. Oh, okay. Do that and then reflect the damage. Right? Like, would Fortress kill him? Like, deflect? Something like that? I'm thinking. I would assume it would. I think it just doesn't show the damage he can do. It might kill him, but it just doesn't show how much health he has, that's a good point. Or it might <laughs> kill him, but also kill her in the process. I don't know. Eh, uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, he he's died. dead. At least. As he died too, I guess. And this but guy. Uh, I don't definitely die, right? I think I remember that it, yeah. they just. They don't perma die. They get back up and you can pick them up or you can just heal them since it's the end of the day already. Hmm. He's gonna attack her. If I attack at all, he's gonna crit, so I probably shouldn't do that, but I can defend and have everyone just wheel on him. Wait. Wait. Aaron. What the fuck did I do? Do our strongest moves on this last guy because I'm getting tired of this uh, motorcyclist. Yeah. Most annoying so, asshole ever. Did you have an idea for your schedule yet for me? I did not actually. Okay. Um, if only because even if I try. My best bet would be the weekends, maybe Saturdays, but um, I don't know when I would host them. I guess I could do them in like the time that I used to run D&D, which would be the afternoon. Uh -huh. But other than that, I do not have an idea set up now. Uh, I was just curious, because no, I, up. uh... Oh. I'm enjoying, uh, Vi's streams. I don't mind staying up a little for her, but I, uh, do need to go to bed at some point. So I can't always stay up for yours. You know what I mean? Vi's stream? Uh... Once I don't. Again, uh, phone call. I'm not sure what to call you. Sorry. Do you want to go by? Do you go by Vi or Eve or 
Oh, R-I-B. fee. Oh, me. Oh, fee. yeah. Sorry. Fee. Fee. It's fee, yeah. <laughs> oh, someone left again. Uh... People just drop in and out. W- was it you talking still? Yeah, it was. Okay, okay. Makes sense. But yeah, I just didn't recognize because uh, it's, uh, I pronounce it V. Yeah, I know. My pronunciation is not always like, the best. No, no, it's fine. I think that's the correct pronunciation for an English speaker, but <laughs> I guess it was confusing to me. The shriek will melt your brain. So, um, no, I haven't decided to when. I guess, honestly, the best time for me to have a stream would be kind of late in the evening on Saturdays for my time, which... If only just because I have stuff to do during the day. In fact, I'm actually going to go in a little bit, go in a couple minutes here. Or go in a little bit here. Mm -hmm. But before I do, I'm going to go ahead and finish up this day here. And then I'm going to give V an overview of the uh, VTubing applications, since there are many of those. I just realized I'm covering this character's chest. Yeah. You have to protect your decency. Your yeah, exactly. What decency? You There's hide the boots. <laughs> <laughs> All I worked to get this DNA. I hope it was worth the wait. Before we go for before we end these are in this game for now, which one of these characters should be leveled up? I'm getting a lot of DNA for some um, reason. What's the heal one? Well, uh, the one for win. Heal. Uh, that you. does uh, that does a flurry attack that does 31 times 3 damage. Ooh, that's big damage. Mm -hmm. But probably, yeah, probably upping one of the level 5 characters, honestly. Mm -hmm. Since you can uh, up the two of them, actually. Oh, I can. That's a good point. Yeah, you can even up the three of them. <laughs> Way up. Yep. Uh, and you have Love of Nature and Guided Meditation. Uh, you know what I would say? I would say maybe upping uh Mar Mariadi like the shielder the tank yeah because they seem to get a huge attack from level 8 so maybe getting them closer to level 7 is is good mm -hmm. like look at the oh we can't see actually okay that's fine mm -hmm. but next combat should do it though Okay, we're in a camp, and then I need to heal everyone because they, my characters are like half dead right now. Heal health 50% and repairs armor 100%. God damn it, this game looks cool. I need to stop finding cool games. <laughs> yeah. It, it, really it, it, cool. it looks really cool, and uh, it was kind of funny because when y you were playing it, and I hopped by, and we started chatting, like, when was it? Like, a few weeks ago? Yeah, and I just ended up having a white night, just <laughs> staying up late with Stormy, <laughs> watching him play. Man, it's a good thing we have all these healing cards. V 
because we have a lot of healing to do. And repair everyone's armor, like the tank's armor. <laughs> Do we have any more? All we got left are shield, are shield stuffs. We use all the healing potions, quote unquote. Yeah. I just have one left. Ah, uh, the auto shield region is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Who does? Who gets to have it? Ah, uh, <laughs> one that needs shield more. I assume her could yeah. be good. I don't know if it gives them to the both of them. Nope, only to her, unfortunately. Okay. Alright, we're going to end the game for now, and I'm going to show you the stuff you'll be working with. Yeah. Let me switch the... Oh, it's OBS. Wait, that would have been bad. Save and exit. Gonna update the category section of Twitch to just chatting. So, regarding the programs you'll be using, I believe you said you wasn't weren't sure quite yet between the choose between two D and three D. I'm going to show yeah. you both of them, starting with 2D anyway. So, back before VTubing was big, and when it, the only real VTuber was, uh, what's, her, what's her face, was... Wow, I can't Kizuna. even remember. Kizuna AI, yeah. Kizuna AI. There was FaceRig, which at the time only had 3D models, which were initially once it came in-house. And they actually had a two, live 2D add-on that you could purchase separately for like five bucks or something. It's been a while. And this, yeah. was, and this is the program, the people that were into this stuff, at least in the West, for the first time, uh, got to play with back then. And this was about, what did it say here? Yeah, the live 2D module I think was actually I four bucks. Yeah. I, I think I remember Girl DM, uh, like, her facial tracking, she uses, uh, well, first of all, she uses, like, the iPhone face tracking, iPhone uh, 10 face tracking, but it, it works inside Unity. It I don't know this. how. Yeah. I'm actually going to shut off VC face for now because face requires my camera to work and it does not like sharing. So we're going to... That screenshot. It's been a while since I used this program. But everything that you... Let me just relaunch face, Rick. Yeah, I don't remember what exactly Girl DM is using, but I know she's using something that, like, not a lot of the other guys are. Yeah, I think it's kind of custom, maybe. Maybe. I think, uh, what's her face? Pretty sure Melody uses custom everything, doesn't she? Um, I don't know if her 2D rig is custom, but I'm pretty sure her 3D one is, because she's got a lot of, like, the full body tracking for the erotic streams. She has a 2D rig now, too? Yeah, she's been using it on Twitch. I may have posted a video, but I've definitely brought it up before. I you probably heard me mention before that Facebook is kind of uh, is it's uh, the word that means something that's being discarded or like obsolete. Obsolete. The yeah. company that made that made FaceRig, Holotech, has decided to create a new program, which is basically FaceRig, but now it's a subscription model instead of uh, buy once, which caused an uproar in the community. They do, however, keep FaceRig still in the store, and people still actively use it. All the models that I have for FaceRig are 
chips actually were actually free. I got them from the Steam Workshop. And that's where I discovered this character who is kind of the inspiration for which who is pretty much the inspiration for the um, model that I'm working on at the moment. And according to Nim, she's actually a Idol Master character, I think, Cinderella Girls. I don't I'm not into Idol Master. I just like the way this character looked. Right now, for whatever reason, her tracking is kind of behind. I don't know why that is. It might be because it could be that. It could, which is weird too because the Shadow Rabbit resolution is still set to low. But there's a noticeable delay. That's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, uh, well... Yeah, I'm curious what's doing that, actually. For me, it, there's a delay because I'm watching on Twitch. But I'm not hearing your voice on Twitch. If that makes sense. You're not hearing my voice on Twitch? No, I... Well, I have it oh, muted. You had it muted. <laughs> I was thinking more that, um... I can tell that there's... But there a is a delay even in, on Twitch. I'm, I was thinking that there's actually a delay between me looking at this avatar and speaking, which wasn't there before, mm. which is kind of bizarre and unfortunate. I wonder if it has to do with testing. Oh no, it's still there. I don't know what's going on with that. But suffice to say, this is a lot of people's first entry into... Um, Live 2D avatars, at least in the West. I don't know. I'm sure. I don't know what the Japanese were using back when this became a thing. And it's kind of not be because they switched the start working on animes. This is no longer being updated regularly. I know they said that they would maintain it a little bit, but they're trying to get people to move on to a new product. Unfortunately, hmm. and you can even see here where these we're all stock models, but beyond that, it, my workshop section is kind of huge. I even have... Does this one work better? No, this is also has the same problem. I wonder if it's because it's track, it's doing it based off testing. Oh. That's weird. Testing. Testing. I found out what the problem is. Yeah. In order to unlike in order to make this sync to your voice properly, it has audio it has lip syncing through audio, but for some reason it's not detecting my mic. So it's probably uh -huh. a problem here in And now I can't remove this part. Is it whatever you're feeding your mic through? Well, my mic's going... Th it might be... That's why I'm thinking that it might be going through a different thing. Because it might be going through either my webcam, which it can't be because otherwise it would have been noticing my voice there because my webcam also has a mic. Or it doesn't have... It's not picking up my voice at all, and the reason why there's a delay is because it's relying on the webcam to read my mouth movements. So it's probably... And the scaling is kind of bad too. I wish I could remove this thing here, so I can actually see what I need to see and click on the it's a good thing I'm not planning on suggesting face rig for your stream because as yeah. you can see it's having some serious issues now but thankfully there are actually free alternatives in Steam now to face rig I'm, that I'm going to show you right after I figure out what's going on this thing.
testing. No. So it's here. It's going to be in here. It's going to be devices. Here we go. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. <laughs> okay, okay. Wait, wait. Hello, testing. That I swear to God that delay was not there before, but it's really nasty. On the bright maybe side, maybe because of the streaming, you know. Maybe uh, since it's maybe CPU bound and like streaming and stuff. Maybe because it's some um, resource strain that causes this it could be that. I don't know. I mean, it's tracking my eye movements and my head movements just fine. Well, maybe like a millisecond delay or something. But I don't remember it ever being this bad. At the same time, it's been a while since I used this, so maybe I just remember it differently because what I'm using right now is not nearly as resource intensive. I know the competitor, a media competitor, Peer Peer Live, is supposed to be adding workshop integrations so that we'll be able to just port all of these avatars from the Steam Workshop for face rig over there next. Actually. Mm -hmm. And I hope so, but the problem is we're trying to import these all to PRP or Live is that it uses a different version of Cubism. This one, the cube version of Cubism of Cubism that they use for face rig is kind of outdated. I think it's Cubism 1. So in order to use them in Peer Peer Live, you would need to convert them to Cubism th Cubism 3, which isn't that hard. You basically need to install Cubism either using the free trial or the free version. You would need to load these avatars into the into Cubism, save them as a new file, and hope nothing breaks in the process. I don't think this model uses that many layers, but I know for a fact that some of these do. This one uses quite a few, but this is one of the few avatars I was able to load into Peer Peer Live with no problem. Hmm. And you could do all kinds of stuff. Like some people just rip the assets from Girls Frontline and put them in here too, although they are a little bit yeah. janky. <laughs> in fact, I don't even. I'm pretty sure this was ripped. Wait, no. This one was not ripped. This is the one that uh, some GFL streamers use. But I had M16 in here earlier, and I don't think... Like, I know this one is broken. This is for Sat8. Janky. Oh god, there's an earthquake. <laughs> yeah. Here's M16. Nice. All she has running is her head, though, because I know some of the other girl front line models really stretch the 2D aspect. Like R15, she actually shoots the screen, and it almost looks like her gun was rendered in 3D. Wow. Okay. You have characters like this, Jojo Mario, wow. which is actually... Dun, dun. <laughs> I wonder if, because resolutions, refresh rate is 30. Ah, you know what? I might have solved the lag problem. For It's probably because my webcam's resolution, our available resolutions goes up to like 1920 by 1080. 
And the inc more you increase the resolution, I think, the more accurate it's supposed to be, but the more lag it's going to cause. Or I could be talking out of my oh, yeah. ass, and this could just be a nice coincidence. But for whatever reason, it's tracking my voice properly now. <laughs> and let's see if it does that with... Now it's not even loading. Wait. There we go. I yeah, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. I don't know what I fixed, but something fixed. Anyway, needless to say, this is a real. This used to be a really. This program used to be really dear to my heart, but the way the devs decided to handle launching their new program, which has a new subscription model, kind of pissed me yeah. off and a lot of other people off. So I moved away from using this. Now let's use to the one I was using. I do use for uh, Live 2D now actively. There's two of them. One of them was suggested to me by Uni, so we'll go ahead and bring that one up first. That is called VTube Studio. This is free of charge, or free to use as well. It is also an active development, uses Unity, and is open source, I think. It's the one I used. Mm -hmm. So this one still works pretty yeah. well. <laughs> and I also just ripped characters that I borrowed from Steam Workshop for Face Rig and loaded them onto here. I need to activate. Need to. It also comes with VTube Studio. I need to figure out where. Tracking is deactivated for right now for some reason. I wonder why tracking is deactivated. It was... What is You're okay. I'm good. I'm just, I get embarrassed every time I'm trying to show someone something and the stuff I bring up refuses to cooperate at like the best time, like right now. Yeah, it's always how it is. It's okay. I guess some things never change. But also, it should have just started working as soon as I loaded the program. I don't know why. And I feel dumb because I could have sworn. If there was a matter of, okay, this is must be for using your phone as a, so it's not that, it's not connection through Wi-Fi. Hmm. Choose camera. Well, while you're. While you're looking, I wanted to ask uh, V, do you have an, an idea for a model yet? Like a character design? Yeah. Oh, do, do you want me to, to show you my uh, research boards? I yeah, I, uh, I mean, I assume you're going to stick to like, the bartender thing. Yeah. That's basically the idea. So... Don't pay attention to the new with hearts. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's somewhere on this board. Basically, outfit-wise, I was kind of going with uh, something uh, uh, similar to Helltaker. So kind of like classy bartender look. Uh, or even, I, I really liked uh, the puffy, puffy, um, uh, puffy sleeves that Jill has. You know, I I find that that works really well. 
Uh, and uh, new ties, definitely new ties, but this uh, vest, I think it looks great. Like this kind of vest. Maybe I should be using a different color though. The Boom. bartender's vest? Yeah, the, this thing. I think that looks great. Um, I also really like the idea of a colorful shirt. Uh, red, obviously, is a good choice, but we'll see. I The thing is, this stuff, I just already love, but if I just do that, maybe people would be upset that it's kind of too similar to mm -hmm. Taker, You know. Because I would definitely go with red and black, whether it's like whether I knew Hulltaker or not, but you know. Uh, anyway, I'm not sure whether I would go with uh, pants or like more like a skirt or something like that. So that still remains to be seen. I like the idea of like having a uh, day, uh, day and night uh, wear yeah so for example the idea was uh you know how this it's like hell's cafe the idea was having uh cafe streams which would uh end up with uh, just give me a sec and uh illustration i know uh this, I guess. Man, boom. Uh, maybe on uh, Pinterest. Uh, Barista. Cannot start a webcam. Ah. <sighs> So, okay, you, you see these kind of things? Or these kind of things? Hey, you know. French, French person? Hey, it's Springfield. Yeah, hey, French. French, French, French person. You're yes. e, it's Eve, right? Nor Eve? Uh, yeah. You, you okay. can call me Eve. Yeah. Okay, I'll call you Eve. Can, e. I, call you, can I call you Vaporeon? You, you, you can call me Eve. You can okay. call me Vaporeon if you want. Okay. Though most people just call me V or Eve, okay. yeah. Was that fine? Right. I, I like your voice. <clears throat> oh, thank you very much. Means a lot. And so that kind of thing, where it's like uh, the kind of more uh, day cafe streams would be a more uh, cozy outfit. Uh, and something a bit more professional and the bar streams would be kind of more like this. When I was thinking like on Fridays, I could have have it be a uh, bar night stream while Saturday would be more like a cafe stream. Um, and regarding the, the whole bar aesthetic, that's kind of uh, what I was going with, a bit of uh, Asian bars, 